Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, vlogs, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So I wanted to give you guys a quick perfume haul real quick and a declutter. So I'm gonna do the haul real quick and then we'll do the declutter at the end. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do this haul real quick cause I owe y'all a perfume tray video and I need to get these put away so that we can do our tray video. And this month, the tray is going to be so much fun. So let's get started with the first fragrance. This is Cafe Amour by Mancera. So I only have one other Mancera, which is Roses Vanille. love that fragrance. And it was kind of hard for me to find other Mancera fragrances that I liked. A lot of them had like a synthetic or metallic type of smell and I really didn't care for them. But this one, this is the one I have been loving. As you see, I have been wearing it. So this is a nice vanilla and it has an amaretto in it, but the amaretto kind of smells like panna cotta to me. It's nice and a little creamy. I know I say creamy so much y'all, but I love a fragrance that has a creamy texture or scent to it. Like I love that. And it has like a nice caramel kind of feel to it. So I know it's called Amour Cafe and you would think coffee. You kind of get like a slight coffee nuance in there, but it's really not a coffee fragrance. It's really like a nice, beautiful vanilla caramel kind of creme brulee type of feel and i've been loving it i've been wearing it to bed i've layered it with a couple of different fragrances and i've really been enjoying it i got this from twisted lily so if you're interested in trying it sampling it or purchasing it definitely go over to twisted lily and give this a try you can get samples use my code denise 10 well if you are a vanilla lover you would love this like you would absolutely love this vanilla so that's amore cafe by mancera so i got a few fragrances that you guys have already seen in my collection but i never officially hauled them so let's start with Valaya and the girl is doing what she's supposed to do as far as performance she is a performer I didn't think she was gonna perform like that even though people said that she was yeah she she's she's loud she's very very strong to me <laughs> now I know a lot of people get a lot of citrus and musk in this I get the musk but I'll get a lot of florals too I think it's that petiala that's in there or is it potalia it's, it's something like that that Quentin Beach puts in his fragrances and I get that note in here a lot I slightly get the citrus and I do get a lot of the musk and y'all know I'm a heavy sprayer but I don't have to spray a lot with this I really really don't if you like fragrances like Fleur Nord Cartique you would like this fragrance of course I love the bottle and I think she's just gonna be so great to wear during the spring and the summer and I really feel like I don't know y'all let me know but Valaya seems like she is an all year round scent for me like I wore her in the cold and she was out there out there okay she was outside and I had no problem with the performance like at all. So I feel like Valaya is all year round, even though the bottle looks so spring summer, you can definitely wear this any time. So next is Soleil Neige. So I know you guys already saw this in my collection already when we did a fragrance tray video and I didn't officially like put her in a haul yet. So here she is and I'm so glad she is here. So this was also in my uh, Valentine's Day video because I feel like this is a perfect first date scent, a perfect date scent period and it's just a perfect nice everyday scent like it's just beautiful for all occasions for sure this is like a cold white floral fragrance it's so pretty it's almost soft and soapy to me and I just really really enjoy it I'm so glad to have the full bottle now I can go ahead and finish off that decant and now I have the Soleil Neige oil so I'm just ready to just bask in this fragrance if you like white florals and you like them soft clean slightly a little soapy like to me it's slightly soapy and if it has like a cold nature to it like this is your girl like this is so pretty and feminine and i've been I, I love it i already love it so i'm just glad to have the full bottle in my collection next is queer by carner barcelona so you guys saw me use the uh little 15 ml travel size of it and i was obsessed this is such a beautiful leather fragrance if you like leather this is going to be a stunner it's a soft pretty feminine leather and i love it if you don't like leather or you're just getting into leather fragrances give this one a try you can definitely get a 15 ml sample i have a discount code for you but this one is so nice 
I really enjoy leather in my fragrances, especially in this time of year when it's cold outside. But this is such a soft feminine leather. I would say this is one of the most feminine leathers in my collection. A lot of the other lim uh, leathers I have do lean more definitely unisex could lean slightly more on the masculine side but this one is like a feminine leather so if you're just getting into um leather or you want to try something leather but you still want it to be soft and feminine and girly give this one a try because i have been loving this and now i can go ahead and finish off that um travel size so i can crack this open before it warms up so I got a few fragrances from New Notes and I got the ones that I felt would appeal to me the most. So let me tell you guys about these three fragrances. So I got Cocktail Maracuja, Talco, and Lata di Cherry. So my girl AI has been talking about this, loving it, so I had to give it a try. I actually like this cherry. This is not a boring cherry. This is a different type of cherry. Now, some people do say they get cough syrup from it. I can see where they get that from, but it doesn't give cough syrup to me. For, to me, it's more like a boozy type of cherry, but not boozy in the same sense as lost cherry. I feel like this is a deeper, darker type of cherry. Um, it's sweet, but a little tart at the same time. And that boozy factor, I don't know if it's booze or spice or something in here gives it a little something. It's not as tart of a cherry as uh, Cherry Punk by Room 1015. This one is a more, uh, a deeper, richer, more sweet type of cherry, but it's not syrupy sweet like Lost Cherry, if that makes sense. So hopefully I'm giving y'all a good balance with that. So that's the way it smells. I don't know about performance yet. I still need to wear these. Some of these may be on my perfume tray and that's why I wanna go ahead and get this haul done so that we can pick out our fragrances. The next one is Cocktail Maracuja. And this is, girl, a cocktail. It smells like a liquor. <laughs> it smells like a, definitely a, a fruity type of drink or cocktail. Um, I don't know how this will pull on everybody's skin, but that's how it's pulling on my skin. I get a lot of the booziness. Um, from it and then the fruits are more like in the background so I don't know if that's just the opening but when it settled like on my skin just when I was testing it out I still have to get a, give it a full wear but I was definitely getting like a I don't even know what type of drink this is but it's a fruity cocktail I feel like this is a fruity fragrance that you can wear in the cold weather I don't know how it's going to perform or smell in the heat but I feel like I can definitely wear this in the cool weather and maybe even into the spring. Then we have talco. So talco is just what it sounds like, talco powder. And it smells like a nice, luxurious baby powder. So you have to love baby powder and powdery scents to love that one. I feel like if you like uh, Narciso Poudre, you would like that one. I feel like Poudre is denser, sweeter, thicker. This is a more light, airy type of powder. Um, I, I absolutely love the way it smells. Um, I have not worn any of them yet, but if I had to go in order and pick my favorites so far, this is number one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and put these on the shelves so we can get some wear out of them. Next is Miel Extas by Navitas. So when I did my Navitas video, I believe, you guys were like, yo, you need Miel Extas. It's so good. It's a honey bomb. It's great. It's delicious. It's this, that, and the third. Oh, honey. So let me tell y'all, I had this. I got this like mm, December, mid-December or so. And when I first got it, I did not like it at all. It was super medicinal on my skin. Like it smelled like Vicks Vapor Rub medicine. Like I was like, mm -mm, I don't like it. It's a no for me, dog. I just put it away, let it sit, have not been talking about it, thinking about it or anything. Now when I smell it out the nozzle, what, two months later, it smells a lot better. Now I have not worn it, but it smells better than it did. And you know, sometimes that happens with um, fragrances. Actually, I like to let my fragrances sit for a month or so anyway, so I'm not surprised that I like it more now, but I do still have to wear it to make sure it doesn't give me that, that medicine type of quality to it. Sometimes honey can be too much and too piercing sometimes, um, but it does smell a lot better now. So I do want to wear it and make sure I'm not getting that anymore once it gets on my skin again. But like I said, it smells so much better out the bottle so than it did before. So I'm excited to give it a try and see if I can get what y'all was getting. Next is a Flor de Ombre by EPC. I don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this brand, but I have three 
bangers from this brand i absolutely have been loving them so this one is fleur de ombre and this is going to give you that coconut vanilla tropical yellow floral fringe panty type of feel and we on our way to spring and i'm so excited to wear these type of fragrances i put this on my skin y'all when i tell y'all the longevity and performance the sillage of it like i every time i move my hand i could just smell it and get whiffs of it i said "Ooh, when i wear this and put it on and spray it like how i spray it's gonna be nothing to play with believe that but of course i'll let y'all know when i actually wear it but oh it's so beautiful Beautiful. If you like yellow floral fringe panty type of ylang ylang and tropical uh, coconut vanilla fragrances, this right here is so good. Next is Sonic Flower by Room 1015. I finally got my Sonic Flower. I had a sample of this so long ago and I have been wanting this for so long. So y'all know I like those Your Skin But Better type of fragrances, and this is definitely giving that. Now, I always tell y'all that Kryptonite kind of gives you the same mindset as Glossier U. Now, this one is even closer to Glossier U. Like, this almost smells identical to Glossier U, but the performance is so much better. Like, so much better. Like, I love it. Kryptonite is a little sweeter than this one. I personally like Glossier U. I like like those Ambroxan or you know Cetalox type of fragrances, those Your Skin But Better fragrances like Clean Skin Reserve. If you like those type of fragrances, you would love this too. But I'm so glad to have this. I love, love, love the bottle. It's just so pretty, clean girl, chic aesthetic. It just looks like clean. You know what I'm saying? Like you just want to smell clean. And I'm excited to wear this already because I already know what it smells like and how it performs from that sample. So yes, finally got my Sonic Flower from Room 1015. So this is In Too Deep by Five Sins. So I have been really enjoying all the fragrances that I've received from Five Sins. I emptied a bottle of Catch Feelings, which was kind of like a rose, kind of gave you Delina vibes type of fragrance. So if you don't want to spend the money on Delina, um, you definitely can go with Catch Feelings. Now, of course, the performance and everything is not going to be as uh, long and strong, but it will give you the same type of vibe. And then Life of the Party was a nice, sweet, black currant fragrance. I wore both of those in the summertime they were easy run around you know grab and go type of fragrances and this one is no different this one is giving you vanilla and sparkling sugar and a little creamy sandalwood a little bit of musk and i was like okay five scenes come through the sparkling sugar smells so good so i'm like okay I need more fragrances with sparkling sugar. So this is so nice. Definitely an easy reach, a feminine, girly fragrance, an easy grab and go. It's fun and flirty. It's not like anything you take too serious or too mature or, you know, I wouldn't wear this like on a fancy date night or anything like that. But girl, for an easy grab, grab and go, doing something during the day, like this is such a cute, girly fragrance. And these are so at Sephora, women-owned, woman-owned brands. So yeah, and it also is a Clean beauty brand as well so if you're into that maybe you have allergies or something like that give this a try this is a fleur de santal by atar collection if you are a sandalwood lover girl this is a beautiful sandalwood now it's just pretty much just a sandalwood floral type of fragrance but the sandalwood is super prominent if you tried santal 33 and it was too masculine for you give this one a try i feel like this one is more feminine and you can also use this to layer with other fragrances so if you want some to add some sandalwood to your fragrance this will be the one you want, want to grab now you do have to like more of a clean slightly floral type of sandalwood so this one isn't super milky or super creamy and it's it's definitely woody and more on the drier side it has a slight sweetness to it but not too much it's not a super creamy one like um zadegan voltaire this is her this is more of a dry woody slightly sweet type of sandalwood but it smells so good definitely giving a more female version of santel 33 so yes i cannot wait to wear this and layer this with other fragrances Last fragrance in our haul is Gossip Night by Greedy. So I definitely want to add some more Greedy perfumes to my um, collection. I love the bottles. I just like them aesthetically how they look. And they're so narrow 
tomorrow and like then and i just feel like i could just have like four lined up on my shelf because i just love the bottles but this one is gossip night and a lot of people were loving this when this came out or towards the end was it towards the end of last year it might have been towards the end of last year and this is like a fruity um peach fragrance and the fruits are a little macerated not in a bad way but they are thicker denser more syrupy type of uh fruits it's not like super light airy fluffy it's more on the denser rich side so if you like fragrances like maybe like um i would say maybe like a hundred silo ways palace palace athene um Haley by tiziana terenzi you like those type of fragrances then i feel like you would like this so i'm glad to have this i feel like i may just wait a little bit to wear this because it kind of gives me spring summer vibes even though the fruits are thick and rich and dense i still feel like i want to wait for this one so yeah greedy gossip night is here okay y'all so those are all the fragrances that were in the haul now we can move on to the declutter so the first perfume in the declutter is Jazz Club by Replica. Now don't worry, it's not going far. It's just going into dad's stash. As much as I love it on me, it smells amazing on him. Like I literally gag every time he wears it. I'm like, oh my God, you smell so good. And I just had to give it to him because he just wears it so well. Then it's Love at First Sight by Unui Nomad. Now I did give this to dad as well, but mm, it's a no for me, dog. I don't like the way it smells. It literally smells like green, fresh grass cut lilac flowers and it can go and I don't even care if he wears it. Then it's Juice Parfums Ultraviolet. So this is supposed to be like baby cat with more leather. It's definitely more leather, but it's not giving baby cat to me. It's it's okay. It does have some uh, vanilla in the background, but just not enough for me, a little too masculine. This is a uh, Red Dakota by M. Mikalev. This is definitely a masculine scent. It's a nice, what you would feel like a businessman would wear. It's clean cut and it does smell really good on him. Then we have Shagaf Oud Azrak. I actually really like the way this smells. I like the opening. It's like spicy and a little sexy, but on my skin, it dries down and smells like hair grease, like blue magic hair grease, and I can't do it. But when dad wears it, I don't get that. And then we have Amber Noir by Orientica. Now this one is a dupe for Santal 33, and it's a very, very good dupe, and it smells great on him, so he can have it. Then we have Saffron Dusk. I actually really like this. This is a nice cold type of saffron. It smells like a, a winter saffron, like a cold kind of metallic saffron, but it doesn't smell necessarily metallic. It smells really good on him and it sweetens up on his skin so he can have it. Then we have uh, Old Fresh by Versace. Now this I really like. I like to wear this in the summertime, but my son just emptied a bottle of this um, during the summer, through the, during the warm weather. So spring is coming back around. So I said, I'll give this to him. And then we have Close Up by Olfactive Studio. This is a kind of an animalic cherry fragrance and it was a little too animalic for me on my skin. Wears much better on dad so he can have it. The spring and summer is coming and this is a perfect unisex uh, scent for spring and summer. It's a citrusy, peppery type of fragrance, but I think it smells better on dad. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.